world. Zaina Awad is covering the visit and joins us now from Washington, D.C. Hello there, Zaina. Now, these two presidents are, are meeting as we speak. What, what more can you tell us? Well, the tone has been very cordial and very warm, as we've just heard from President Trump. We've also heard uh, from Egyptian President uh, Sisi. He has said that he has an appreciation for President Trump's, quote, unique personality and that he stands with President Trump as President Trump attempts to find a solution to what he calls uh, the greatest problem of our times, presumably uh, terrorism. Now, this is quite the departure from uh, the relationship or the tone between the previous administration, the Obama administration, and President Sisi. The the relationship between Egypt and the U.S. Uh, went through a cooling off period under the previous administration. Now, it's a, a key relationship, really, for the U.S. Egypt is a pillar of U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East. It's always been part of the U.S.'s larger uh, strategy for regional uh, peace and stability. Uh, but there was a, a thawing, there was even a, a freezing, a temporary freeze on U.S. military aid to Egypt. Uh, but really, the purpose of today is to press a reset button, if you will, on the relationship to go back to what it used to be for Egypt to become, to go back to being the important ally from the perspective of the U.S. that has always been. So a cool relationship in the past now warming up um, between President Trump and Sisi. What, what's on the agenda for the meeting? Counterterrorism is by far the top uh, issue that's on, on the meeting. We heard uh, from both presidents uh, the, the issue of stability in the region. The fight against uh, Daesh is sort of central to that. Now, President uh, Sisi has had a, a, um, an insurgency, if you will, on his hands in the Sinai region of Egypt. That's the region that borders Israel. There, Daesh-linked uh, groups have been mounting numerous attacks. He's also uh, been uh, in clampdown mode on the Muslim Brotherhood. He's declared the organization, which has great support in Egypt uh, to be a terrorist organization and he's clamped down on it and he has the support of President Trump. So terrorism is the key issue. Another issue, of course, is the U.S. Uh, aid deal to Egypt. Egypt gets $1.3 billion in primarily military aid. It's a lot of money and they're going to talk about that today. But as interesting uh, as what's on the agenda, as interesting as that is what's not on the agenda. And one issue that we haven't heard anything about really is the issue of human rights. And that's the key issue that here in D.C. you hear everyone talking about, especially in light of the clampdown on uh, civil society, on NGOs, on supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood since President Sisi took over Egypt. That that's something that the administration says it's going to raise in, quote, private and discreet ways, but not openly because the focus for the U.S. moving forward in the Middle East, as we've heard repeatedly from President Trump, is regional stability and fighting terrorism. Juliet? Zaina, thank you. Zaina Awad in Washington, D.C.